All right, what's up guys? Thanks for stopping by my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a video about why you might choose to shoot S-Log footage. Uh, I'm just gonna kinda of go over some of the advantages and disadvantages that come with shooting S-Log and uh, why I personally uh, choose to shoot S-Log 3. All right, so we'll start off with uh, the way the S-Log looks and the reason it looks so flat and uh, why you would wanna shoot in a flat profile like that. So off the bat, straight out of camera, S-Log looks extremely flat uh, extremely dull and a lot of times there's a lot of noise in the shadows. So the reason for this very dull image uh, is that the camera shoots in a low saturation so that it's easier for you to play with the colors in post and it also records with a lot of raised shadows and that's what's so great about shooting s-log footage is that the shadows are pulled up and the highlights are pulled down so that the dynamic range of the camera is greatly increased. So with a standard picture profile you're gonna have a lot of blown highlights and a lot of detail in the shadows lost because these standard picture profiles uh, apply boosting of the highlights and dropping of the shadows in camera. With S-Log footage, none of that happens. What they do is they pull up the shadows and down the highlights and that way the information is there and although it may be a little bit noisy straight out of the camera, when you get into post, you can drop the shadows and raise the highlights and bring it back to a more uh, visually pleasing image uh, with a lot more contrast and a lot more saturation while still having an option of saving the uh, detail in the shadows. And this is why I personally choose to shoot S-Log 3. It's extremely flat. The dynamic range is really crazy compared to any other picture profile I've ever worked with. I love shooting S-Log and if you can get used to it and used to working with it in post, it's one of the best picture profiles I think that's out there right now, especially for an affordable camera like the Sony a6300 like I'm shooting this video on. So the only downside really of S-Log is not knowing how to work with it in post or not having the time to work with it in post. So if you're on a shoot with a really tight budget and there's not a lot of time for editing, you're probably not gonna wanna shoot S-Log because it does require a lot of work in post. You have to uh, know how to use lumetri scopes. You have to know like, you have to know how to actually color footage. You have to know what you're doing in post when you're coloring footage and you have to be willing to take the time to color it correctly or it's gonna look like dull, gross footage. Once you get the hang of it, it really doesn't take too much time and you know, once you've graded 100 S-Log clips, you kinda get to know what you're doing a little bit more with the footage and you uh, get your own process down and once you get the hang of it, really it's not that bad to grade. It's just one of those things that you gotta do a lot of times. All right guys, uh, thanks for stopping by my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, it'd be awesome if you'd hang around for future ones. And yeah, thanks for watching, later.